Welcome to my channel, Wanna Suckers. Hey, just for one moment, I need to give my braider her flowers. I need to give my braider her flowers. Like, Nadia, you did that. <laughs> Look at the handwork. The handwork is neat. It's neat. You wanna see the back? The handwork is neat. Painless. <laughs> a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain. <laughs> I'm very sensitive, I'm tender headed. So for me to say a little bit of pain, bro, that's probably painless for y'all. We have a few discussions to discuss. The black delegates are here to discuss the fuckery. Number one, um, many of you know I am a Christian. You know, I'm very big on um, my spirituality with God. I don't wish death or harm upon nobody. That's like, I'm not, I'm not built that way. Um, I don't wish death upon people. I don't celebrate and someone being taken off of this earth, you know, it's YouTube. So we got to kind of dance around these words, but I don't celebrate people being taken out of this world, um, maliciously, um, unjustly, nor do I celebrate the fact that this woman is still free, right? Like if you committed that crime, ma'am, you, you're an endangerment to society. Like we can't forget that part, ma'am. You, you, you know, you, you caged somebody. And so you're an endangerment to society. I don't want to be amongst you. You're, you can't be amongst me. You need to be somewhere locked up and evaluated. With all of that being said, what happened to Toby is a clear example of white supremacy, right? Same thing with Lauren Smith Field. Black person engages with non-colored person. Shit goes left. Black person ends up dead. White person walks away free. The differences are that Toby went online. There are receipts of him disparaging black women. So hot yeah. So hot in here. You know, comparing black women to white women, being colorist, being anti-black. And so there is a new phenomenon. And that is the stance that black women has taken and said, well, listen, how did this person live their life? Now you are free to live your life however you want. Like, let's just be clear, right? You do not have to date, marry, um, create families with black women to receive justice, right? You don't. But if you want black women to fight for you, and let's be honest, there's no fight if black women don't lead it. Let's just be clear. So if you want black women to fight for you um, in a vulnerable state, you have to ask yourself, do I fight for black women in their vulnerable states? Because the problem is it's always pretty much been the majority of black women fighting for the lives of black men, right? It went from Black Lives Matter to say her name because black women were erased from Black Lives Matter. Y'all y'all started saying, see, I don't forget. <laughs> I forget a lot of things, but this shit here, I don't forget, right? In the beginning, black men are being killed, black men are being killed, and, we, and black women were like, hey, you know, we are too. And it's like, well, no, no, more black men are being killed than black women. And then it's like, okay, so let's start our own, you know, subunit of Black Lives Matter, say her name. And then white people started using it. And then again, black women got lost in the sauce, right? So we often get erased out of spaces that in which we 100, we, we contribute heavily to. We get erased from those spaces. We're vulnerable, unprotected, X, Y, and Z. But yet we're still supposed to put those things on the back burner for people who don't fuck with us. Like point blank period. You can't continue to expect um, women, black women in particular, to mule and to fight for justice of those individuals who did not value black women, right? If you don't value black women, you value white women, you value Latina women, you value Asian women. You know, those need to be the women who prove their worth to you, right? Who prove that, hey, those are those are our husbands and our baby daddies and our sons and our fathers, right? Those are our men um, and, and, and we should rally behind them. I have yet to see the preference lead <laughs> in justice for black men. I mean, I would honestly, I would like to see it because I mean, those are y'all men. So I have yet to see the preferences rally. And not only I've yet to see the preferences rally a majority for their men, 
I have yet to see the preferences be held accountable for not rallying behind their men because there's also the expectation from other men from you know from from black men there's the expectation of yes no you're not our preferences but you're our mothers our sisters our aunts you know <laughs> our classmates and so it's your duty we're the same skin tone it's your duty go out there and fight oh y'all not fighting y'all not gonna fight for us y'all just gonna leave us out here to why don't y'all have those same requirements for the women that you choose that you say are more beautiful more feminine why don't you require that action from them so why y'all don't tell them to go out there and fight oh that's not that's not that's too masculine too masculine so there's a phenomenon black women are taking a stand and saying listen if you want us to fight for you it has to be a fight on both fronts and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This is real life, like do what you want with your life, but damn, like don't be colorist. Is that too hard to like, or at least don't leave proof of it. Everything that Toby said he disliked about black women, his white girlfriend was the epitome of that. She is a porn star, she's loud, she's proud, she's aggressive, right? She said it herself. She does not want a man to dominate dominate her. She wants to do the dominating. She doesn't want to listen to a man. It's so cute when white women are feminists. It's so cute when white women take charge of their sexuality. It's so cute when white women say, yeah, I don't want to listen to no man. And I could do my own and I make my own money and I got a lot of money and I'm popular and I'm, I'm branding myself. I'm a businesswoman. It's cute when white women say it. <laughs> it's cute when they say it to, to them, not to me. When we say, listen, like, we're educated, we make a lot of money. You wanna be able to twerk on a gram? I don't have to listen to you, you're not my father. When we say those things, oh, that's why y'all love the most unmarried group in America. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, well then why they married? Because <laughs> they doing the same shit, right? And it's clearly because of their whiteness, their proximity to whiteness. So we know that now. I don't want to keep coming on here and doing the same video over and over. Like, I really want to move forward from this. But, you know, I know this is something that recently that just happened. And it's something that I have to bring to my channel because I don't want people to think that I'm okay with this because he was Nigerian. I did see a comment. I know it was a troll. But the comment was like, oh, you know, you speak on African-American men. You need to speak on Nigerian men. I do. Did you not watch <laughs> my young, famous, and African review? Like, those weren't good critiques. <laughs> I mean, I love the show and everything. But yes, I called out the toxic masculinity. People want that to be my narrative so bad. And it's not. But either way. So I was talking to a friend and she was like, oh, you know, I just, I don't think it's fair that people are saying he deserved it. And I didn't see, see people confuse People confuse black women taking a step back with black women just don't care. I didn't see people saying, oh, that's good for him and things of that nature. I just saw people saying, not my fight. You know, the white women who he praised should should fight for him, reach out to the family, figure out how they can set up some GoFundMes, figure out how, you know, when and where they can march and, and go up to the police stations and go to Florida and, and raise hell. Like, I didn't see... And of course, there's going to be some, you know, some, you know, angrier comments. But for the most part, I saw a lot of people saying, you know, I feel bad for the family. He needs to get his preferences behind this. When you take a step back, we can't have that same energy for everybody because it's not reciprocated. And then we turn around and look like fools because those same people, if you look at their history, how they move, what they said, what they've lived with their lives, all of it was anti-black women. But black women are the first persons that are expected to throw their capes on and go march and fight. Um, should should justice be served? Absolutely. Should that crazy lady be in jail if she did it? Absolutely. But that does not mean that black women have to be the backbone of that. You no, know, thank God he has his family, but where's the black male community? Like, where's, where's the males with mics? Like, this is y'all chance, right? And, and some people were saying, you know, he did, he made those tweets when he was 13 and obviously, you know, being young and dumb is a thing, 
but to be honest with you it didn't look like much has changed from his selection in women and you know his thoughts on women she went online and said she only dates rich black men he went online and said white women titties are prettier and got with a porn star like this is just a typical ain't shit couple okay y'all in it for just <laughs> material things right she's a material girl and she was in it for material things he's anti-black so he was in it for those reasons you know what i'm trying to say i don't have sympathy for either one but my sympathy for him is that he can no longer be here to, to defend himself to continue his life to possibly change you know what i'm trying to say have have a different opinion change his ways but this is a hard lesson that needs to be learned white is not always right i'm telling you as somebody who says open up your um dating options you also have to understand that white is not always right it's not and i don't like when people just push that narrative of date a white man date a white man date a white man date a white man. Them, them niggas is crazy too <laughs> them niggas is crazy too stop acting like y'all don't watch id shows stop acting like y'all don't see what was going on it's equal opportunity for crazy out here. It's equal opportunity for ain't shitness out here, okay? These males, I don't care what your skin is, you, what skin tone is, they need to be vetted. They need to prove that, that they love you, that they love your hair, they love your skin, they love you for who you are, and they are mentally stable. You are safe, okay? Checking off all your boxes and all of that, but please don't think that a skin tone is going to save you don't think that I see a lot of women you know a lot of women say the same things that that the men say and then they get mad when the men say well since you out here saying the same thing if that's true for you let it be true for you if you found a white man and he's great that's great if you found a white woman and she's great that's great but then to disparage a whole race and that's the thing when you ask these people how is it dating you know a white i kid you not when i ask black women how is it dating a white man they literally just began to list off his characteristics the things that he's you know they do together the things that maybe he's he's opened her experiences to she lists him as a man when you ask a white man what oh, sorry when you ask a black man oh i can't do them night riders i can't the shanique was just, but i didn't ask you about that i asked you about her yeah but black women is just but but what about the the what about the preference? I want to know why the preference is preferencing. I want to know what's what's the difference. Cause here, yeah, cause you know she got a little attitude. So you, she got an attitude. She she don't do this, don't do that, don't. So you basically got you a white black woman. I'm done. You know what? They got the BBL. They got the lip. They they the kinky. You got you a white black woman, and you and the same characteristics, same. The cultural appropriation is crazy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, not all let me say not all there are some men you know you'll ask them why you, you know how is it dating this or that and they'll give you some valid answers you know um they'll give you valid answers but it's never it's never answers that are to tear black women down whenever you start to tear someone else down by lifting someone else up i'm side-eyeing you because i didn't ask you what didn't you like about black women i just asked you what do you like about this particular woman and unfortunately those are the answers that you're gonna get we're gonna somehow some way black women are gonna come up we live in people's heads rent free um but it's time to collect hi i'm your landlord Bitch, you owe me 3K. You owe me 3K for the month. Yeah, 3K. Oh, that's too much? You can't afford it? Well, you need to not... Well, don't mention me. Don't mention me at all. I know his family is... Trust me, I know Nigerian families. His family is regretting heavily that they allowed him to date a white woman. This is the outcome that this woman is still living her life. I think she got spotted at a bar and some people were like, what are you doing here? You just killed your boyfriend and you need to go to jail. Honestly, prayers to the family. They look like a really nice family. Prayers to the family. No family deserves to bury their loved one. But y'all gotta hold the whites accountable. Y'all have to hold the whites accountable. The people that you choose, the people that you put on a pedestal Hold them accountable when you're at your most vulnerable point. Build an alliance with them because apparently, you know, <laughs> y'all got to build that alliance up. Like, like, 
black men y'all gotta teach y'all preferences how to fight for y'all maybe they don't know how to do it because they've never had to you know but stop expecting us to do an automatic the black women who decide to do that that's their choice but you can't get mad at the majority when we say i'm gonna step back from this one and just pray that all goes well Y'all let me know what you thought of this topic down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like this was one of the first cases that pretty much everyone was on board with the fact that, okay, he chose white women, you know, and they should be the ones to fight for him. You gotta pick your soldiers wisely. Y'all be picking the weakest links. You know what I'm trying to say? And then where are they when you need them? Silent. So. Y'all let me know what you thought of the situation down in the comment section. How do you feel about that woman still being free and out and about? Like, where's the court case? Where's the, how do you feel about that? She's still free. She's still on OnlyFans making her money. She's on to the next rich black man. And that's the thing. That's the thing. She's on to the next rich black man. He's going to take her in, pedestalize her, and she's going to do it all over again. Y'all do it to yourselves. Y'all do this dumb shit to yourselves, but what can we say? Because when we say anything, you know what y'all say? Oh, you're jealous and you're black. Okay, you know what? <laughs> so let me be black and happy over there. Let me go mind my business. Everything I say is jealousy. Do you, hey, do you see this? Hey, tell us of what team. What team they do? I'll see y'all at the next one. Bye.